this session we will be seeing about the different types of number system conversion in the last class we have seen about the number systems what are the different types right so now we will see there are we know that there are four types of number system binary decimal binary octal and hexadecimal number system okay so now we will just see the conversions there are totally four systems are there so the conversions are 12 conversions are there decimal to any other number system okay binary octal or hexa this is one set then from any other number system to decimal that is the next step okay the third one is binary to octal binary to hexa similarly hexa to binary and hexa to octal we will see to in today's class all the 12 conversions okay so now we will first see decimal to any other number system okay you know the radix or the base of the binary is 2 for your octal it is 8 for your hexadecimal it is 16 so the general thumb rule is that i mean i want to convert any number system from decimal to any other number system just divide by its radix if i want octal divide by 8 if i want hexa successively divide by 16 now we'll take a small example 10 okay i want to convert from decimal to binary just successively divide by 2 because my target is binary its radix is 2 so 5 2s are 10 so successively just divide 2 2s are 4 1 2 1 2s are 2 remainder is 0 so now the number 10 it is equivalent to 1010 in binary in decimal it is not necessary that you have to put the radix but for all other number system that you have to put the radix okay so just successively divide by its whatever is the radix of that particular number system now let us move on to the decimal to octal okay the same procedure just remember the same number 10 we are taking successively divide by its radix 8 ones are 8 so remaining is 2 so 10 will be equivalent to 1 to base 8 that's all okay so from any other number system that is decimal now we will move on to the hexa okay now we'll take a 10 as a smaller number so we'll take a bigger number okay we cannot represent 10 in hexa we have to just take any other number let us take some number as 170 okay now i am just take as 16 so what is the maximum possibility 16 10s are 160 i cannot put the number 10 why because in hexadecimal 0 to 9 only is allowed and a will be represented as 10 will be represented as a so i should put as a okay 16 10s are 160 remaining is 10 so i should not write 10 here students you should be very careful if you are going to put 10 here you will get a wrong answer so what will be the final solution now that 170 it is equivalent to a a in your hexa decimal so the general thumb rule is any other number system to your you are going to convert into your decimal to any other number system just divide by its radix that's all okay so now these three things we have seen now we will move on to the next forum that is from any other number systems to decimal so this is one group okay one logic we have to follow now we will take the same answer and check that we are getting this answer or not now the first conversion is binary to decimal what is the binary number we got here 1010 base 2 okay so now binary the base is 2 so each digit will have a positional weight with respect to your two powers this is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 whatever you write it on the right hand side that is called as your lsb and which is having the highest weight which is represented on the left hand side is called as your most significant bit whereas this is called as a least significant bit okay now we'll just multiply by its respective powers so 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 1 Plus zero into two power zero. I have just taken the binary number. To this binary number, I have just substituted the two powers. Okay, 
and I am just multiplying 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0. That's all. So, what is 2 power 3? 8. 8 plus 0 plus 2 power 1 is 2. So, 2 plus 0. So, I am getting the answer as 10. So, now I can write 1010 base 2 is equal to 10. So, you can just check the values. Okay, now we have confirmed when we are doing binary to decimal, we are getting the same value. Our conversion is correct. Similarly, if it is going to be octal to decimal, so what will be the logic? You have to multiply in terms of 8 powers. Hexadecimal means in terms of 16 powers. This is the logic you should know. Now, we will move on to octal to decimal. What is the octal value? We got the result as 12. So, 12. So, 12 base 8, which you have to convert into decimal. So, it is 8 power 0, 8 power 1. 1 into 8 power 1 plus 2 into 8 power 0. Anything power 0, 8 power 0 or 100 power 0, anything power 0 is 1. Okay. So, what will be the value now? 8 plus 8 power 0 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2. So, so we are getting the same result here. So, 12 base 8 equal to 10. Okay. So, now we have, we are uh, getting the same answer. We can confirm that whatever the conversion we have done is correct. Now, same thing you extend it to your hexadecimal. Okay. So, hexadecimal to decimal. What is the number we have taken? 170 that has been converted to AA. Now, if you are taking this AA, you should get back the same value. AA. Okay. So, what is AA? 16 power 0 and 16 power 1. A into 16 power 1 plus A into 16 power 0. A represents 10. 16 power 0 means 1. So, 10 plus 16 power 1 is 16. 16 into 10 is 160. I am getting 170. So, this verifies your answer. My input is hexa. I am able to convert that to the decimal okay so what is the logic decimal to any other number system divide by its radix any other number system to decimal means just multiply by its powers okay now we have finished the six calculations now we will move on to the next calculation binary to octal and binary to hexadecimal octal means you know it is 2 power 3 hexadecimal means you know it is 2 power 4 so, the basic underlining principle is that whenever I am going to convert a number from binary to octal, okay, I have to, whatever the binary number is there, I have to split them in terms of three groups because it is 2 power 3. Hexa means I have to split the number in terms of 4 power groups starting from my LSB, that's all. Okay, suppose let us take any number. Okay, now this number means you just split make a line just for your understanding just split into in terms of three groups what is 110 110 is nothing but 6 0 1 1 is 3 it is so the value of this is equivalent to 136 base 8 now i want to convert the same number to now hexadecimal Okay, in that case, what is the underlining principle? I have to just group them in terms of 4 bits. So, same number I am taking. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, here I have only 3 numbers. If there are no numbers in the side, you add a 0 to it. Okay, now this is 5. Okay, 1, 1, 1, 0. That is 1, 1, 1, 0 is nothing but 14. I should not write it as 14. I should write it as E. So, this is equivalent to 5e base 16. Okay. So, the third logic binary to octal or binary to hexadecimal. Just divide them, group them in terms of 3 or 4. Just proceeding from your LSB. Okay. Now, we will move on to the next calculation. Now, these two calculations are over. Now, we will move on to the octal to binary and octal to hexa. Okay. Now, these two calculations are over. Now, we will take this and try to arrive at this result. 36 okay 136 yeah, I am having so this is octal to binary so this calculation I am coming okay so octal to I am just putting some symbol octal to binary what is the value I am getting 136 whenever I am having a number in octal I want to write it in terms of binary this is very easy just write it in terms of the 
for each letter you have to write it in terms of three binary bits that's all one means zero zero one okay three means zero one one six means one one zero so only i have told you in the last session all of you should know the numbers from zero to fifteen thoroughly to proceed with now you can check with your answer it becomes correct okay now we will move on to hexadecimal to binary hexadecimal to okay we have seen octal to binary now hexadecimal to binary what is the logic whatever is the number you just write it in terms of four bits okay what is the value 5e so whenever i am having 5e write every number in terms of four digits so generally 5 is only 501 but you have to include msb as 0 e is 1110 that's all okay now octal to binary and hexadecimal to binary is done with now only two more calculations are there octal to hexa and hexa to octal students be very clear we cannot do this directly octal to hexa and hexa to octal we cannot do it directly so either you have to convert to any other number system okay so octal to decimal or octal to binary and then binary to hexa so how will you done for example if i want to do octal to hexadecimal okay one calculations i will just show okay so octal to hexa suppose we take any number okay we take any number this number i want to convert into hexa i cannot do it as it is octal to binary binary to hexa this is one of the easiest if you want you can convert to decimal decimal to hexa also okay if i am going to put decimal then hexa means decimal to hexa how we have to do you have to divide by the value 16 any method you can follow okay easiest method is octal to hexa means octal to binary binary to hexa what is how will you do octal to binary group in terms of three digits this is two this is three this is five okay once you got the number this is your 532 base 8 okay Ox uh, so this whatever is your uh, uh, i'm sorry ma i've just started with your octal number let me take a octal number and then proceed with this is your octal number for say so this octal number should be converted to binary okay binary means write all the numbers in terms of three digits so what you have to do 0 1 0 it is only 10 but i am writing it with three digits this is 0 1 1 5 means it is 1 0 1 now this number has been converted to binary now you do the conversions from binary to hexa okay so what you will do you have to just divide in terms of four digits what is 1 0 1 0 it is a 1 0 1 0 it is 10 a so the answer is a a base 16 now we will do the next calculation last calculation that is hexa to octal now we will take the same problem a a okay i have to do hexa to octal i cannot do it directly so convert hexa to binary or to octal here you can go in for decimal also any other number system you can go in for okay a a okay a a base 16 now that i have to convert to binary how i'll write it in binary write in terms of four bits so 1010101010 okay so i've converted to binary now what is the procedure for binary to octal write everything in terms of three digits that's all so this is 2 101 is uh, 5 and sorry uh, 010 is 2 101 is 5 and 010 is 2 okay 1010 so you get this value so whatever is the data which is given okay that you just divide in terms of three or four digits and arrive at your answer so what we have done aa is the answer we are getting 1010 uh, one one minute ma here i have made a mistake Five thirty-two. It is five thirty-two base eight. I'm just writing zero one zero zero one one for five. It is one not one. Okay. Just 
I have got it in binary. Now this binary, if I want to convert into hexadecimal, I have to just divide in terms of four. Okay. Now what I am getting one zero one zero is a, and here one uh, one zero one zero. Here I have to cut it, and here I have another value. Okay. So this one zero one is five, and answer is five. Now this is your hexadecimal equivalent. Now we will move on to the next step. Suppose we want to convert octal uh, to hexa to octal. This is a calculation for octal to hexa. You cannot do it directly. You go in for hexa to binary and binary to octal. Here you can go in for any other number system also. Now we'll take the same example one five a. Okay. Now here if you are going to see what is the value for this. Now I have to do hexa to binary. So write each of the data in terms of four bits. One zero 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 one. Five is one not one. A is one zero one zero. Now hexa to binary is over. Now again binary to octal. Binary to octal means group in terms of three bits. Okay, this is zero. This is five. This is three, and this is two. Now we are arriving at the same answer. Okay, so with this I conclude the session, students. Decimal to any other number system means successively divide by its base. Any other number system to decimal number system means just multiply by its powers. And uh, binary to octal means group in terms of three digits from uh, right hand side. And from this means in terms of four bits from right hand sides. And uh, octal to hexa and hexal to ox. Uh, hexa to octal you cannot do it directly so you have to go in for one more intermediate conversion to get your final answer thank you